Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Marshall, and this is a heavy-duty extension cord. Heavy-duty does mean something when it comes to extension cords, and what that means is that the wire in here is bigger. This is a 12-gauge wire. Smaller gauge means bigger wire in terms of its diameter. Think of it like people going through a hallway. Bigger hallways allow people to pass much more easily. Some of the things that affect the resistance of the wire are, like I said, how wide it is, how thick it is, the diameter. Also, the length. If it's tough getting through one inch, it's twice as tough getting through two inches, three times as tough getting through three inches, and so on. The composition, what this wire is made of, is also important. Used to be a lot of electrical wires were aluminum because it is so cheap, but it has a higher resistance. So that means it'll generate more heat along the way. The reason that we worry about heat in extension cords is that the insulation may melt. The copper won't, but the insulation will melt. And that'll give that copper the ability to jump from one, uh, from one wire to the other, and that can start our fires. This heavy-duty extension cord has a, a fixed resistance. And we're going to take a look at the table to that length size of an extension cord, length of an extension cord, with how much resistance it has. And this is a big and important application for Ohm's Law. What's going to happen is I'm going to plug this into the wall, and then 50 feet of extension cord later, I'll plug this into whatever uh, load I'm going to be using. Depending on how many amps I'm trying to draw through this, it's going to take up some volts. You use some voltage when you push current through this wire. The more resistance in the wire, the more voltage gets used up pushing current through. That's our Ohm's law. Some voltage will get used up by this wire. That voltage will be used up in generating heat. We want as much voltage as possible to get from the wall outlet to the device you're using. So the first thing we're gonna do is calculate how much voltage is being used by this extension cord, and we're going to do that simply by measuring first the resistance. Get a good connection. That's the resistance, how many ohms it'll take to get from one end of this 50 foot extension cord to the other. And I'll probably average it out at 0.4. The medium duty extension cord has a higher resistance because it's a smaller gauge of wire. That means it's going to use up more voltage or more energy in getting from one end of this extension cord to the other. The amount of energy this, the amount of resistance which will turn into energy that this extension cord is using is hovering around 0.6 to 0.7. We'll call it 0.6. So we'll crunch the numbers for that.